Hi, Nick. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, you know, if it's any better, I believe it was a setup. What do you mean? That's just how That's good, good though, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, of course, we are here to talk about your new show on Tubi, Nick Cannon's Big Drive. Um, could you tell me more about it? Because it kind of seems like, from what I've seen, kind of like a combination of Pit My Ride and maybe some carpool karaoke in there, kind of like some daily vlogs showing, you know, what you do on a daily basis, like with the podcast and everything. So tell me more about it. I mean, honestly, I mean, it's a little bit of everything that you just described, but it's really a, a glimpse into the the lifestyle of car culture that, you know, all of us experience at some point in time, whether it's your first car, whether it's, you know, uh, the, the opportunity to on going on your first date in, in, in a car and all of that stuff. So uh, I really wanted to have an entry point for the culture uh, in a way to where, you know, I was inspired being a car enthusiast by another car enthusiast, Jay Leno, who uh, when I was on his show, he was kind of checking out my collection. He was like, yo, you should do the same thing for, you know, for your generation. And here we are, you know, and, and having, you know, a lot of friends, uh, that love cars and are in car culture like myself. It just kind of made sense. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you describe your first car or just your car in general as like a sanctuary in the show. So I want to know, what was your first car growing up? Uh, like I said, it was my mama's <laughs> car. <laughs> it was, um, she, it, it broke down. And because I worked at a mechanic shop, I was able to fix it and kind of keep it running. Uh, and it was her, her. It was like a a family four door sedan, like mm -hmm. twenty five BMW, uh, like from the eighties. And uh, you know, I kind of kept it rocking and it was driving to school and that every day. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, look, as long as you get it from point A to point B, that's all you really need. Absolutely. <laughs> Why? I was still still a BMW. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to know what would be on your, if you were to make like a Mount Rushmore of cars, what would you, what specific models would you put on there? Um, That's a good question. I have a, I'm a lover of just like old school vehicles. So they'd probably all be like from from that era of just like classic cars. So it'd probably be like a, a 1964 Chevy Impala. Okay. We all be Chevys. But no, no, I go all Chevys, but I definitely go 1969 uh, Chevy Camaro, uh, 67 Chevy Chevelle. Uh, Okay, so there's yeah. a lot of Chevys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I would probably switch it up and probably go like Cadillac or mm -hmm. you know, 1970 Cadillac or even a 1962 or 63 uh, Lincoln Continental, something like that. Mm -hmm. All like all low rider or muscle car like type type vehicles. Yeah, I'm definitely used to seeing those. I'm I'm in Atlanta, so I see a lot of. Chevy's a lot of yeah, yeah Chevy. a lot of those. Yeah. <laughs> so um last question. So um when I was watching the screeners, you seem like a pretty like chill, laid back, you seem like a pretty good driver. Obviously, you've been driving for years. Um, so I want to know um when it's time for those driver's lessons for the kids, uh -huh. are you gonna be like uh, super strict or are you going to be more laid back or are you the type to just let them get like a, a driving uh, teacher and just no nah, I got to be the perfect one. it's funny yeah. that you asked that because my daughter Monroe literally this weekend was like asking me you know could she drive and when I was going to teach her she said like which vehicle could she learn in I yeah like, I was like which one you want to want to pick and so <laughs> I think, I think we're going to start her in one of the incredible jeeps one, because okay. I want to be protected. But then, like, if a woman, like, if, some, if a woman can drive a Jeep, like, she ain't no joke. You know what yeah. I mean? She's she moving around. I think she'd be safe in it. 
Uh, and then, you know, if she bumps something here and there, she's going to be all right. Like, I got big yeah. tires, and got, you know. So I, I think a, a Jeep is a, a good starting vehicle. for uh, Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, I've never had a car before. I'd love a Jeep. If you don't, if you have <laughs> any more of those. incredible Jeep, so, you know. I know. If you have you know, any more stock, um, <laughs> I love one. <laughs> can, you know, hook you up. Yeah, I might might have to. If, if, if you know, Tubi pick us up for a few more seasons, you know, we might oh, okay, got it, got it, got it, <laughs> got it, got it. All right, well, thank you so much for your time, Nick. I really appreciate it. Um, congrats on the new show, appreciate and I look forward to everyone seeing it. All right, that's what's up.